<laughs> exactly. <laughs> I play Ridley. Like, <laughs> oh, you do now. That's your main. No, uh, quote unquote. <laughs> I said play. Did I say main? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair. fair. Wording. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Phrasing is absolutely key. We have ourselves. It is actually the same matchup I got the chance to see Enki play yesterday. Going to be up against this time though. Uh, Neon Lights. Uh, Wolf. We'll see how Neon Lights is able to handle it a little bit better right now. Playing very aggressively, trying to overwhelm uh, Enki with some aggression, especially with these forward tilts. Yeah, actually got a double forward tilt there off of the trade. Some very good damage. Trying to lead in with the forward smash as well. Not leading to much. And Enki has him right back off stage. Ooh, no. Just ends up overshooting right there. I'm not sure why he ended up just running on stage, but hey, nonetheless, he's going to get some good damage right afterwards. I mean, the, the thing about Pikachu is recovery is it's really nice at making those long distances, so you can afford to make really big gambles like that without necessarily giving up as much like uh, stage control as somebody else. Our right, recovering on stage, and that is one characteristic that Pikachu does have on his quick attacks. There is a hitbox there when he is going into the opponent, unlike the Pichu that you know, a lot of people do see usually. One thing I want to point out too is we're seeing a ton of forward smashes coming out by Enki, and I think this is a response to the amount of forward tilts we've seen by Neon Lights. He recognizes this is a really disjointed move, and I have to contest it with my own disjoint, otherwise it's going to run all over me in neutral. Yeah, the up smash attempt coming from Neon Lights wanted to you know, call out a possible high recovery from Enki, but that is not the case. Enki going to be able to go ahead and make it back. Did not want to go up there as that down smash was in the vicinity, using that thunder to make sure that Neon Lights was out the way, and that back throw gonna take that stock. Neon Lights being so in control in, in neutral, especially in terms of, again, pressuring Pikachu. Not easy to do with any character, but Neon Lights is managing to find all these little holes in his defenses. Man. And he able to go ahead and find that down smash to take that one away, and now he's finding some big damage. This is, this is going to help him get that established momentum that he didn't have in the beginning of this game. Can you catch a roll get up there? Just barely outspaced by the get up attack. Not going to be able to find a, a, a big situation there. All right, quick attack. Not really leading into anything else. Just got some little residual damage. One more grab down throw leading into the forwarder. Neon Lights has to be careful. He found himself right back off stage. And even though he did make it back, he ate a backer for his troubles. And one of the forward smash still connecting. I have to salute Neon Light's composure off stage as well against Enki, right? Because Enki was reading a panic option in terms of a double jump immediately. And Neon Light's had the composure to just fall next to Pikachu without pressing a button. And that takes a substantial confidence. Ooh, the forward smash barely off the mark. And really, Neon Light's just understands. When you're going against a Pikachu in the neutral and you feel they're going to go for that quick attack, why not just toss out a big, meaty move? If it connects, you are most likely taking away that stock. And at the same time, it's actually a very good option just because Pikachu and Pichu end up just extending their heart box when they me? use quick attack. And that wow. Was that back air that hit him? Or no, because he was still doing the up B hitbox. That was forward air. That it was, was forward, forward air? It was forward air or back air, but regardless, the multi-hitting moves, only getting the first one, getting clipped out, so he just okay. dropped down. Because it looked like the, the graphic for the up B, for the, you know, mm -hmm. the Firewolf was still out. Yeah, no, it was coming. It was coming, yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. It just wasn't fully, fully active yet. Yeah, as, as much as I was uh, I was praising Neon Lights offstage, the thing is, you're up against Enki, like, and especially against a, a strong Pikachu, right? They are taking notes every single time you're off, and they are trying new edge guards. So we had, like, the second stock lost to a Thunder Jolt snipe off stage, and then the next one with that multi-hit catching the low recovery. And it's just scary because, like, there are so many more potential things Pikachu can mix in off stage against you, and you have so many less options to deal with them. All right, landing back air. Can they get some decent damage? And right there, Enki just recognized that Quick Attack didn't do a lot. Oh, so he's getting another one. Oh, Nair! Mm -hmm. With the blue thunder, beautiful stuff. Yeah, so Neon Lights, you know, as much as he was being aggressive and it worked out for him in that first game, you know, Enki taking complete notice to it. They're like, you know, you want to keep tossing out these hitboxes? I'm going to make sure you cannot deal with something even bigger than your neutral air. Yeah. Especially because that neutral air, like, you are just sticking your foot out there, Wolf. Like. <laughs> Things feel bad. Say what's up to this lightning. 
<laughs> oh. just jumping right over the forward smash attempt as well. Yeah, just kind of having that moment of hesitation. Just like, I don't want to die to forward smash. Not when I have a lead like this. Oh, Neon Lights ends up having the read, but cannot connect that forward smash. I feel like a couple of these tech chasing situations, maybe want to opt for the down smash instead, just because you have both sides to cover with that slight destroy from the claws. Yeah. All right, laser is your all and everything. Yeah. You know, the first hitbox on the actual gun, then the laser itself doing so much. Oh, I thought he turned around for the back air. You know, but hey, nonetheless, that forward air is going to send Inky right back off stage. Oh, Neon Lights expecting a jump get of Anki this time, mixing in a get up attack. It's actually, Neon Lights is like taking notes and trying to punish the previous get up that Anki did at the ledge. Yeah, it's just a chess match over and over, uh, especially with all, all these defensive options. Do you cover roll? Do you cover regular getup? What what are you choosing, NK? I cannot get you in my grasp, and as he does, the back throw is still not enough. And again, G-Pick, just the lack of combos for this time around. Tries to do it for good measure, but it's still not enough coast to coast. This next one, though, it should do the trick even at the far ledge. Uh, Z-Fly made an appearance for whatever reason. Uh, is it just that hype right now, Z-Fly? <laughs> But there we go, that last back throw is going to take it away. The third one is the charm G pick. Again though, another edge guard for Anki to uh, have the chance to finish off the stock with and actually catches that down smash on Neon Light right during his getup. And a beautiful setup from Anki right there. Falling with that neutral air, immediately going with the down smash to catch him. All those electric properties, you know, it just extends the time you are just an hit stun. And beautiful bait. Not going to be able to find that same Thunder hitbox. And it would have worked that time because nope. it was still the same there. <laughs> That's actually terrifying. Yeah, get right off of my stage. Able to recover with that upbeat. Neon Lines is really struggling to find his footing. Beautiful. And as I say that, able to get that down air, gets that spike. Because he had to read the quick attack for that. That could have been in so many different potential directions. But uh, that is huge for uh, Neon Lights to try to bring this to a game three. Yeah, no, in that last situation, that just came down to NK just very worried about that down smash at the ledge or some type of hitbox that was going to be there. Went high, ends up getting called out instead. Right now, Neon Lights is cooking. He has NK off stage, <laughs> but, but as the fast as I say that, quick attacks <laughs> back on. It turns around for that dash attack to take that stock. Yeah. The, there is, of course, a lot of great European talent. It's not just the big names like Glutiny and Leffen and Armada. Yeah. All across the board, you know, guys like that, they don't show up without a village of great players to play against. And, you know, uh, Enki's a great example of that. I've been seeing a lot of good gameplay from him all the way up until now, and I'm looking forward to see, like, how he does, especially going into, like, wave two of pools as well. And I'm hoping to see a lot of upsets by like by folks from outside of like North America, just kind of to force a broader yeah. perspective. On yeah. the I way mean, I'm, look at this I'm game. excited to see Sharpizar. I feel oh, with, yes. his, with this Pokemon trainer, he is sick. He is terrifying. I, I was like, okay, you have Char. Okay, no, he knows Char's are in and out. But then I really started to think about it. Like, wait, he has a character he knows already. This yeah. is and, and he's really, really good with that character. Now he has two others, <laughs> just cause. <laughs> There's, just, there's just so many layers there yeah, that yeah, no yeah. one is ready for. Also, just like the characters covering like different sort of weaknesses that Charizard mm. might have, right? Having a bit more range with Ivysaur, having more speed with Squirtle, shoring up uh, little unfortunate things in, in a lot of different situations. No. All right, so coming up to the stage, I see none other than Kiraflax, no stranger to this stream, hailing from SoCal, rocking the pit and the dark pit. Oh, doesn't he also use Rob as well? Oh, game? yes, yes, Rob yeah. as well. I know Rob does come out on occasion. Yeah, and he's also just no stranger to NorCal. I know he came up here for the Splat Bros weekend. Uh, did some good stuff at some of our local events. I believe at a kin he beat Exax, yes. uh, one of our weeklies. And I think at Splat Bros he managed to get, I want to say like 17th, 25th, something That's in that somewhere area. Somewhere in that range, yeah. yeah. But I mean, that was a fun weekend. It was the infancy of Smash Ultimate. We have come a long way since then, G-Pick. Yeah. And see how Kira really just, you know, 
refined his play, what new tricks has he found with his characters, and you know, what tech can he show off for the good people of the stream? And of course, being, being a pit main since the Brawl days, right, having that same familiarity with that character, carrying over into probably the strongest iteration of pit for a main line, a main line Smash game. Uh, that is also just so useful. Like you were just talking about with Sharpizard, right? Like understanding how our character worked before they were like full goes such a long way uh, once you do fully get like the rest of your toolkit. But All right, we're just getting set up right now, trying to figure out their the striking. Stage, as I they love should. it. I yeah. love it. Oh no, they were just they weren't striking. They were just fist bumping. Oh no, please. Strike. Oh, no, that was a strike. I saw one, oh, they, two, okay, three. Okay. Yeah. All right, I Unless they, they did three fist bumps. I don't, I don't know. Uh, okay, okay. It's like, yo, I don't just do one. <laughs> I, I was trying to like catch a glimpse of like the the actual.